Hello everyone, let's give all the glory to God. Let us bless each other, be at peace. And you're the missionaries to save the world. Oh. With the double portion of the Spirit, let us save the 10,000 believers. Thank you for your praise. And through the praise, I thought to myself, what really moves my heart? What is moving inside of my heart? Because of the word, let our hearts move and be moved. It is a short time, but let us be filled with the life. Then through you, inside of the field, we'll see the glory of God. And God wants to commission us as the witness. I bless you in the name of Christ where you who have uh, come here really receive the blessing of God. What is the book of Deuteronomy? The book of Deuteronomy talks about where the Israelites must prepare before entering into the land of Canaan because they should not just enter in to live. If they live with the flow of the stream of the things that they had, then they will fail. That is why God is telling them to prepare. And that is why God is teaching the Israelites through the book of Deuteronomy the important facts. And God is telling them to imprint this to, this, to the next generation. And last week, uh, the, in chapter 17, we share to raise up the king. And in verse, uh, chapter 18, it's telling us to raise the priest prophets. In chapter 17 and 18, it's talking about the king, priest, and prophet. And combining this becomes Messiah. It is talking about Christ. Uh, we must know why we need these three uh, and enjoy. To the people who believe in Jesus Christ, is given this three position. As a other of king, priest, and prophet. And we must know this fact and we must enjoy it. And we must relate this to our next generation so they can hold on to this and have victory. Uh, God said, raise up a king. We need the true king, our God, our, our Christ. Why do we need Christ? Right now, we do not know, but uh, uh, a god of this world is Satan. But many people do not know about Satan and demons. Even the believers, they do not know what Satan, demons, and devils are. Even people know, even though people know about this, but they do not really know what it is.
Do our parents die and become demons? When they give their uh, when they do the ancestral rites, they think the their parents come because as a demon, but demons are were once an angel before they were corrupted, and the spirit that God uh, Satan controls are demons. And you can see the shamans who call upon the demons. Take a look at them. When we went into the field, we went to a lot of uh, shamans. And all of them live a very hard life. Through the media, we are able to see how they receive demons. And without even them knowing, they are faced with a disease. There was this one lady who was uh, in a supermarket, but she once faced a disease that she could not solve. And that is why she went to uh, the shamans. And she asked, oh, what can I do? Uh, this disease is, uh, is killing me. And the hospitals cannot help me. What can I do? And, and the shaman said that you must receive the spirit of the demon. But there is no one that received this demon with a grateful heart. They try their best so that they do not receive it. This is going inside of the suffering. And in the midst of that suffering, they just receive the demon. And they think of that as their destiny. That if you're caught by Satan, we have no choice but to be in suffering. And if you're caught by Satan, you cannot live a normal life. And to break the head of the sa Satan, Christ has come. If you see in 1 John uh, 3 8, it's, uh, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the work of the devil. Satan tries to break apart people and try to uh, make them fight. If you go inside of this Satan, then your families will break apart and you will have no choice but to fight. But Christ has come so that he will crush the head of Satan who is the God of this world. And Jesus Christ has given us this authority. And that is why God has called us as a royal priest, a royal evangelist to save the 237 nation. And there are many disasters and curses that are appearing. And it will continue. And we need a priest that can solve this problem. But the human priests are lacking. Why do we talk about this uh, in the Chronicles, 1st Chronicles, 2nd Chronicles, and 1st Kings? God has sent the human priest, but with them it's lacking. That is why we must uh, wait for the true priest. And who is that true priest? It is Jesus Christ. 
죽음의 문제가 문제, 아직 우리 인생의 문제를 위해서 And he has finished all of our problems upon the cross where we had no choice but to face curses. Uh, the cost of sin is death, but he has solved that. Um, for our sins, uh, Jesus, who was crucified on the cross, at the end, he said, I have finished everything. He said, He has finished everything where we had no choice but to die inside of sin. And this is talking about our start. If you see uh, the believers inside of the field, and they have no strength, and they say that they cannot do anything, that is because they're uh, suffering inside of sin. We have Christ, and Christ said we, we should not worry, but because we're uh, suppressed by sin, we're losing to the field. We must not worry. Jesus said, it is finished. Your problems, it is finished. Oh, but pastor, I still have problems. That is the start. It is through the Christ that has finished everything where we must start. We cannot uh, be satisfied just by eating. Because we are a spiritual being, we need to pray and the, we need the word. If you do not have the word and prayer, we have no choice but to face hardship inside of the field. And our hearts will crumble, and through the crumbled heart, Satan controls this world. If Satan sees a hold of our hearts, then we have no choice but to face failure. Really, go inside of the field and see the people. And they might seem normal in, on the outside, and it might seem like they possess something. But inside of their heart, everything is crumbled. Why is that? Because they do not have the word. If you have the word inside of your thoughts and mind, then uh, you will have strength. But because they do not have that, they lose hold of this. Uh, their hearts are crumbled. If your spiritual state is in that state, then you cannot give worship and you cannot pray. Uh, the king and the priest, God has already sent us. But human kings and priests, because they're not, they're incomplete, that is why God sent the complete king and priest, which is Christ. And that is why we, holding on to this, we must be able to see the field correctly. No matter how great of a president that we raise, we cannot uh, win over the force of Satan. It might seem like they could uh, win over the enemies that they can see, but they cannot. They cannot win over the enemies that they could not see, and that is the history. Who can uh, solve the problem of being separated from God? 
And this is the problems of the of people, but God has come as the true king, true priest, and true prophet. And today we see about the blessing of the prophets. What is the blessing of the prophets? And inside of the book of Deuteronomy, this is one of the most important words. If you see in verse 15, it says, The Lord your God will raise up your, for you a prophet like me from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you shall listen. It says, You shall. It is to him you shall listen. This is the answer to all of our problems inside of our lives. And said, they will raise up a prophet like me from among you. What is this like me? Who is this? me that this Bible is talking about. It is talking about Christ. And so you shall listen. And they will send the prophet like Moses. And it says in verse 14, For these nations which you are about to dispose to listen fortune tellers and divine, diviners, verse says you shall not listen to them. It is saying, God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you. It means follow after Christ. That is because he is the true king, true priest, and true prophet. And Jesus did the work of prophet like Moses. And no, because so that they do not have, no longer have to give sacrificial uh, offering, God has completed everything. Every time they commit a sin, they had to give this uh, sacrificial offering. But so that they do not have to give this sacrificial offering, God, if Jesus Christ has finished everything. And said, with his blood, he became the ransom. Now there is no need for us to give this sacrificial offering. It's just we must go forth holding on to the name of Jesus Christ. And he's a king and he, do, he doesn't need no bodyguard. But he served us and he became king. Uh, Moses was a uh, he signifies a Jesus. And through, uh, Jesus is giving us the life through the word. And he is the uh, manna of life that we must eat every day. He gives us the word every day. That is why we must listen to the word of God and we must think about the word every day. And that is how we go forth to God. If you listen to the word and think about the word, then inside of that, all of the answer comes. And inside of that, all of our future will come. And that is why there is something that we, 
we must do. We cannot memorize all of the words, but we must organize that through a, in, in a phrase or one word. And that will stack up inside of our lives and that will become our blessing. And there were prophets inside of the Bible where God uh, got blessed. If you see in 1 Kings 19, 1-20, as Elijah who worked in, during the age where the King Ahab and Queen Isabel was in control oh, it's the age where King Ahab and Queen Isabel was in rule they were the king of Israel how corrupt was this age? There was 850 false prophets of Baal who were inside of the kingdom. And with the idol worship, all Israelites were caught. And no complaints could go through King Ahab. But the person, the worst off person was Queen Isabel. And Elijah goes against these false prophets. And Elijah went up Mount Carmel and gave this prayer. And you can see that God has answered Elijah's prayer through sending him a fire from heaven. And through Elijah, everyone was able to see that God is the true God. Through one prophet, Elijah, all of the people, all of the nation was able to see that Jehovah God is the true God. And if you see 2 Kings 6, 8 through 23, you can see Elijah. He knew that raising up a person that knows the gospel is the way to save all of his people. And that is why he raises up this one school. And there he raised up prophets. <coughs> But the army of Aram came to attack Elijah. But that goes back in failure. Because uh, Elijah knew everything, Aram could not attack. So that's why the Aram thought that there was a spy inside of their uh, army. Because there is a spy, he was able to uh, predict all of our moves. But that is when uh, one of the persons said that there is a person named Elisha. He's a prophet who can listen to the word of God. <laughs> and that is why we cannot win over Israel. 
And that is why King Aram was furious and he went and surrounded Dothan. And you can see that through Elijah, God was able to send his heavenly army to protect the Israelites. And this was uh, through one prophet, Elisha. That's why you must know how important a prophet is. Now, how was the age of his Isaiah? They were in complete failure. They failed until they cannot fail no more. And so Isaiah 6, 13, they will fail to the end. But if you see in Isaiah 7, 14, it says the virgin will give, a, give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel. That was the answer. In the, in the age where there were no light, there was one person that God sent as a prophet. It, that was John the Baptist. And Jesus said, He is the greatest person out of, from a woman's womb. It was that important. It means that we must hold on to the word correctly. Because God gives the word to the prophets and makes the pro prophets speak it. <coughs> is hold on to the prophet message as your life, as the word of God. And that is when you are able to prosper. And you will become prosper. If in the book of the Chronicles, Israel, oh Israel, listen to my words. And listen to your word of Jehovah God and you will prosper. It says you will prosper. If you go inside of the uh, word of God, then you will become prosper. And that life will absolutely have victory. But this can become a burden to you, or it can become a pain to you. Because you're but later on, the people who face those will have victory inside of their lives. But all other things will bring failure. Why is that? Because this word will be absolutely fulfilled. That is why if you see in verse 12, it says, it says, this isn't something that God has spoken. What does this mean? 
제목도 없고 숨지 않고 없으면 이는 요하께 사실 말씀이 아니다. 도세 콤플레르 케디코 니아 콘테시에 에스 팔라라 케 와도라 만들어 봐라. 요하께 사실 반드시 증거도 나오고 The word of Jehovah will have evidence and will bring you uh, will be fulfilled. Inside of your lives, you must have word movement arise, and that word will be absolutely fulfilled. And holding on to this, go out inside of the field, and you are able to see the fulfillment of this word first. Whatever, whatever you do, if you go to a regional church or Tarapang, really hold on to this word that God will fulfill it. And really have assurance that God will fulfill this word and go to your field. If you see in the book of Ezekiel, you can see. Wherever the uh, water that flowed from the temple went in, survived. And this became a medicine. And you can see the. Uh, you can see the word that you possess and you proclaim will uh, make everything revive. And because of the word that you have, may all the remnants and all the people around you be revived. And really do that, run the errand where you relate this word of God to your fields, and that is Tarapa. And you will, able, you will be able to see the life movement take place inside of your field. And I bless you in the name of Christ, may you become that person. And secondly, the eternal prophet is Jesus Christ. In the center around of Christ, God will tell us everything. All of the prophets' conclusion is Jesus Christ, and the Bible is talking about is recorded 100% about Jesus Christ. That's why there's we must only believe according how it is recorded inside of the Bible. But Satan will hinder you so that you cannot listen to this. You cannot listen to this word. This will happen in the end times. They chase after this uh, insolent things. And they have no choice but to uh, wander. How can we uh, know if this is the correct word or not? Holding on to this one word and one phrase and continues to pray and you're able to know. And you'll be able to see the wisdom to know what is the word and not. Right now, as we are living with the inheritance of God, the hindrance of superstitions and idol worship is blocking the way. You must believe according to the word. 
that you have received. And you must confirm this word inside, uh, throughout the week inside of your fields. And that is how you uh, enjoy, this is the prayer of enjoying the eternal Christ, the eternal prophet Christ. If you see it in John 14, 6, only through Christ we are able to receive salvation. And if you see in John 14, 9, it says, Whoever has seen has seen the Father. And there when in John 14, 16 through 20, we are complete inside of Christ. And God will lead us with the word com completely. If you see in Hebrews, or, when Jesus Christ passed, he, the curtain was ripped from uh, top to bottom. It means that God has split this curtain. And back in the days, they went forth to God through a priest. And if you see uh, Catholicism, they go to uh, this priest and to go forth God. But for us, we can just go directly to Jesus Christ. There's no one that can go before God. But Jesus Christ uh, got rid of that wall and so anybody can go towards God. And God has given us the position where we can receive life. He has opened up the way to meet God. Many people are failing because they cannot meet God. So that we can uh, open up the way so that these people can meet God, God has called us. That is uh, 1 Peter 2.9. We're the royal priesthood. Let's take a let's read all of this. First Peter's two nine. And God has called in us a, as a chosen race, a royal priesthood. And He has called us a, as the royal prophet where we can show the way to meet God. So that we can relate this to the people God has called us as the royal prophets. I believe in the name of Christ, I bless you in the name of Christ where you really hold on to this and become the evangelist of God. We must pray that inside of our field may uh, the light of God come upon it. Wherever I go, may the power of God and the light of God be upon it. And that is Tarapa. I said this in, during the Friday night service. Uh, we went, the pastors and the lay workers all went to Yewon Church. And that one system where we can 
win over everything is the field. And there was uh, about 2,800 places that are doing Tarapan movement and a regional church. I can see that in Tarapan, they're losing hold of what Tarapan is. The believers, they do not know what Tarapan is. We must relay this to our next generation, what Tarapan is, but I was thinking to myself, how can we do that? It's not a, some kind of chant that we do. It's how much of light that is uh, uh, light of God that is prepared inside of the field. That is how we raise Tarapa. <laughs> and if you see in uh, the, the Bible, the Israelites they had a Levi tribe. So that uh, in different tribes, when they are facing hardship, where they can receive answer, that is why they raised. Uh, what well, that is why God raised the Levi tribes. That is why we must have this uh, true priest that must be uh, scattered inside of the field. And let us be led by the Tarapang uh, movement where we can save the field. And Hana Church, we must hold on to this uh, field. You holding on to the world where we, it is proclaimed in the uh, pulpit and using using the booklets that you have go and start the Tarapang movement and really start this word movement inside of your field and God will give us the word God will give us the word and through that word people will be revived and the atmosphere of the church will be changed let us restore the field that we have lost hold of we're not saying let us show the power of the churches inside of our field it is rightful that we break the forces of darkness in this Hana church in, in, in uh, this Daegu region but because we're just doing this, the field is dying inside of darkness. And you can see in the book of Acts, the works that happen in the book of Acts is the uh, elders and the people held on to this word of God and went inside of the field and that is why the works arose. And through the war movement, there were more people that was able to believe in Christ. This is the answer that we must receive. We must really pray. So that we can enjoy the authority of prophet, God has given us that authority. Let's take a look at verse uh, 19 of today's passage. 
And whoever will not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. But the prophet who presumed to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. If they speak the wrong word, they will receive punishment. And that is why inside the Bible it said the, the price of the blood will be given upon us. I bless you in the name of Christ where you can really all enjoy this, the authority of prophet. Jesus Christ, we give you thanks. Thank you for leading us for, so that we can receive uh, this authority. Inside of the field, let our Hana Church become the 